Here are the most recent deaths in the national news, as reported at Legacy.com the first week of September 2023. Legacy.com is where you can find any obituary or publish an obituary in any newspaper in America and beyond. Singer and songwriter Gary Wright died September 4, 2023 at his home in Palos Verdes Estates, California. He died after fighting Parkinson's disease and Lewy body dementia at the age of 80. He was known for two classic rock hits from the 1970s, Dreamweaver and Love is Alive. Wright is also being remembered for his work with other musicians, including his friend George Harrison. He played on the epic All Things Must Pass and other albums. Singer Steve Harwell died September 4, 2023 in Boise, Idaho. He died of liver failure at the age of 56. He was the lead singer for Smash Mouth, known for their 1999 hit All Star. The song was featured in movies like Shrek and Mystery Men. Harwell is also being remembered for such hits as Walking on the Sun, Then the Morning Comes, and a cover of the Monkees' I'm a Believer. Singer and songwriter Jimmy Buffett died September 1, 2023 at his home in Sag Harbor, New York. He died of complications from Merkel cell carcinoma at the age of 76. He was beloved by his fans, known as Parrot Heads, for laid-back hits like Margaritaville, Cheeseburger in Paradise, and Come Monday. Buffett is also being remembered for founding the restaurant chain Margaritaville and for his work on behalf of endangered manatees. Sailor Bill Pinckney died August 31, 2023 in Atlanta. He died after taking a fall at the age of 87. He was the first black sailor to circumnavigate the globe via the treacherous southern route around Cape Horn and the Cape of Good Hope. He is being remembered as a National Sailing Hall of Famer who later oversaw the construction of a replica of the slave ship Amistad. Pinckney was a U.S. Navy veteran who served for eight years in the 1950s and 60s. Actress Marsha DeRoos died September 2, 2023, in Altadena, California. She died of complications from a hiatal hernia at the age of 70. She had a recurring role on True Blood as Dr. Patricia Ludwig, who provided medical treatment to supernatural beings. DeRoos is also being remembered for appearances on such TV shows as The Fall Guy and Saint Elsewhere. Horse trainer Jonathan Shepard died August 27, 2023, in Hollywood, Florida. He died of complications from Lyme disease at the age of 82. He trained horses for steeplechase racing for decades, earning a spot in the National Museum of Racing and Hall of Fame. Shepard is being remembered for his horses having more steeplechase victories than any other trainers in U.S. history. Marilyn Lily Lovell died August 27, 2023, in Lake Forest, Illinois. She died of natural causes at the age of 93. She was the wife of NASA astronaut Jim Lovell and an active member of the Astronaut Wives Club. Lovell is being remembered for having a mountain on the moon named in her honor, Mount Marilyn. Politician Bill Richardson died September 1, 2023, in Chatham, Massachusetts, at the age of 75. He was governor of New Mexico from 2003 to 2011, as well as serving in the U.S. House of Representatives in the 1980s and 90s. Richardson is also being remembered as a diplomat, both during his time as a United Nations ambassador and in the private sector, traveling around the world to negotiate for the release of Americans unjustly imprisoned while abroad. A note to remember, sometimes personal information, such as someone's cause of death, is not announced immediately or publicly at all by their family or the authorities. 
every family has a right to their privacy. Businessman Mohammed Al Fayed died August 30th, 2023, in London. He died of natural causes at the age of 94. He was the former owner of Harrods Department Store in London and the Fulham Football Club. Al Fayed is also being remembered as the father of Dodi Al Fayed, who is involved with Diana, Princess of Wales, and died with her in a 1997 car crash. Costume designer Franny Lee died August 27, 2023, in Atlantis, Florida. She died after a short illness at the age of 81. She created costumes in the early years of Saturday Night Live, designing the looks for iconic sketches like the Coneheads, the Blues Brothers, and the Killer Bees. Lee is also being remembered for her work on Broadway. She won Tony Awards for her costumes for Candide and Sweeney Todd. Computer scientist Douglas Lennett died August 31, 2023, in Austin, Texas. He died of bile duct cancer at the age of 72. He was an artificial intelligence developer who had been working on rules to make AI more human-like since the 1980s. Lennett is being remembered for his efforts to give AI common sense so it could distinguish good arguments from bad. Hockey player Brad Maxwell died September 3rd, 2023, of lung cancer at the age of 66. He was a defenseman for NHL teams in the 1970s and 80s, including the Minnesota North Stars and Toronto Maple Leafs. Maxwell is being remembered as an all-star in the 1983-84 season, when he recorded 73 points in 78 games. Reality TV star Jim Tom Hedrick died September 6, 2023, of kidney cancer at the age of 82. He was a star of Moonshiners on the Discovery Channel, sharing his decades of experience as a home distiller. Hedrick is being remembered for his skill in crafting moonshine, as well as for his colorful storytelling. Singer Larry Chance died September 6, 2023, at the age of 82. He was the lead singer for the doo-wop group Larry Chance and the Earls. Chance is being remembered for 1960s hits like Remember Then and I Believe. Musician Bruce Guthrow died September 5, 2023, of cancer at the age of 62. He was the longtime lead singer for the Scottish band Runrig, known for their Celtic rock. Guthrow is also being remembered for his solo music career and for hosting the TV show Songwriters Circle in his home country of Canada. Actress Gail Honeycutt died August 31, 2023, at the age of 80. She starred on Dallas as Vanessa Beaumont, the mother of J.R. Ewing's illegitimate son. Honeycutt is also being remembered for her work in British TV and films, including a memorable performance as Irene Adler in The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. Pro wrestler Adnan al died September 6, 2023, at the age of 84. He wrestled as General Adnan in the WWE in the 1990s, allying with Sergeant Slaughter in a famous feud with Hulk Hogan and the Ultimate Warrior. al KC is being remembered as the first Iraqi to compete in the WWE, as well as for his work as a wrestling manager. In addition to featuring current deaths in the news, Legacy.com also honors the lives and legacies of notable people who died in the past. Here are some of this week's anniversaries. One year ago this week, Elizabeth II, Queen of the United Kingdom, died at the age of 96. Queen since 1952, she was the longest reigning monarch in British history. 
Five years ago this week, actor Burt Reynolds died at the age of 82. He was a 70s sex symbol in movies like Smokey and the Bandit and The Cannonball Run. Five years ago this week, rapper Mac Miller died at the age of 26. His hits included Self Care and Good News. Seventeen years ago this week, wildlife educator Steve Irwin died at the age of 44. The host of The Crocodile Hunter, he was known for his enthusiastic love for animals of all kinds. Twenty years ago this week, singer and songwriter Warren Zevon died at the age of 56. He was known for such songs as Werewolves of London and Lawyers, Guns, and Money. Twenty-five years ago this week, filmmaker Akira Kurosawa died at the age of 88. His acclaimed films included Rashomon and Seven Samurai. Thirty years ago this week, actor Hervé Villachez died at the age of 50. He was best known for playing Tattoo on the 1970s and 80s TV hit Fantasy Island. Fifty years ago this week, author J.R.R. Tolkien died at the age of 81. His books, including The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings series, have become great classics of fantasy literature. Singer Patsy Cline was born 91 years ago this week. She died in 1963 at the age of 30. She is a legend of country music thanks to hits like Crazy and Walkin' After Midnight. Actor Peter Lawford was born 100 years ago this week. He died in 1984 at the age of 61. He was a member of the Rat Pack, who starred in movies like Easter Parade and the original Ocean's Eleven. Every week in the United States, flags are lowered to half-staff to honor the lives of Americans whose communities are mourning their loss. Here are the most recent half-staff memorial flag honors. Flags in New Mexico have been lowered to honor the memory of former Governor Bill Richardson. Flags in Georgia have been lowered to honor the memory of Frank W. Sonny Seiler, owner of the University of Georgia's Bulldog mascots for decades. Flags in Minnesota have been lowered to honor the memory of former Governor Al Qui. You can read more about the lives of the people featured in this video on Legacy.com. At Legacy.com, any family can publish an obituary in honor of a loved one's memory online and in local newspapers everywhere. Just visit Legacy.com and select your local community. You can also follow Legacy.com on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube to stay up to date on national news deaths.